Hello everybody, Prince of the Bear here, and we're back, this time with our May monthly recap video. What a busy month May has been for it us. Has been. Even though we've been so busy, I haven't shaved. I'm looking like a hobo. I don't think we've had a minute to even stop and breathe at all this month. Definitely maybe, not for ourselves. Maybe in July, because June's not going to be a No, <laughs> June's going to be pretty, pretty difficult for us too, but May has been crazy. Well, let's get right into it. So. Let's start with our drinks. Best drinks of the... Uh, no. Oh, our drinks. <laughs> You're always yeah. like, let's get right into it, but then you forget that we're supposed to start with drinks. And we always start with drinks. We have to start with Canada. Mexico. Canada. Mexico. Canada. Anyway, we're never going to resolve she's, this. We've been arguing so she's much She's never going to Canada get it. <sighs> no, I'm Mexidont. Canada. <laughs> Cheers. So I'm drinking a vegan wine that we got. This is my first time trying it. Um, it's a Lake County, California wine. I don't know. Californians make wine? Of course. Napa is in California. Hmm. It's, um, it's a little light. It's not super complex. The grape is very, like, um, mild, I want to say, in the taste. It's pretty good. I like it. I'm going to give it four. Four out of five grapes. Yeah, I'm getting some some oaky like Shannon Ridge Wrangler Red, 2018. Definitely the uh, more ripe grapes. It says it's nine. It's 49 percent Zinfandel, 26 percent Petit Syrah, oh, 20 percent Syrah, and five percent Cab. That's cool. Awesome. Awesome little vegan wine. All right, now that uh, I've tried my wine, what are you drinking, Bear? Uh, whiskey. <laughs> whiskey. And a Darth Vader glass provided by channel friend. It's me, Carrie Ann. And this one is also provided by a channel friend. Um, Foolish Morgans that we love so much. It's, it's Pride Month. It's June. Let's go. Be gay, do crimes. That's right. Now let's go ahead and do our recap that you are so quick to start. So, best <laughs> entree of the month for me. We had so many different entrees. I actually didn't have a ton that I super loved. And um, my absolute favorite was actually Juicy Marbles plant-based steak. Yes. Um, world's first vegan flame mignon. I don't feel like enough of you have watched that video. Please go so watch So I'm going to need marbles. those of you who have watched that video to go back to the video and comment marble on it because I don't I don't believe all of you watched that video. But that is uh, first vegan flame mignon. We had an absolute joy. We will definitely be ordering more juicy marble mm -hmm. the second we get an opportunity. Right now, there's a whole process with pre-ordering and then it's going to ship from the UK. But it's we not. Promise you. It's not from the UK. Okay. It's Slovenian, I believe. Slovenian. I I, pull, I believe. Don't quote me on that. Europe Europe adjacent. Uh, but it's definitely worth the wait. So if you get the opportunity to order it, we definitely think you should. It's a it's a treat. It's a luxury. But if you have the ability to, at some point, I think you should try it. I agree. And we did make a, a side of scalloped potatoes to eat with it that we didn't put in the video bear vetoed no, that i did veto that i wanted to focus on the product but we had somebody comment on that video that gave us a nice like spread of options that we should try with this steak so we might pick a couple of those maybe. and maybe post a photo we're, we're probably not going to do another video of the, the common marbles. insinuated that the flavor of it would be more convincing if there were sides but we're judging the flavor of the item. Yeah, I, and I don't really think that filet mignon ever really needs a side to enhance it. Don't they say, like, if you to, have to, to add good, things good. to your steak, then it's not good or something like that? Like, the, like A1 there some, sauce or whatever? There is some elitist chef knowledge out there. And I don't know how a lot of uh, the non-plant-based people in our community feel, but um, steak sauce on steaks... The, the general rule yeah, used to be that, that it, if allowed. you have to put steak sauce on steaks, it's probably a bad steak. But some people like steak sauce, and you have steak sauce that have all sorts of different, you know, like steaks with hollandaise and other things. Oh, so, yeah, all kinds of seasonings. Eh, I, I just think that it was a great, 
attempt. It just didn't come off filet mignon to me. I still want to make them into tacos. We can do that with the next batch, definitely. Yee. Maybe we'll make that a short or something. So I rated that a five. I thought it was amazing. Or did I give it like a 4.5, I believe? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Believe it or not, our best entrees in a month are actually both plant-based. Vegans win the month of May. Oh we're, we're, I'm we're, never going to leave this down. We're, 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 uh, we're. But I chose a watermelon poke bowl from our recent video at H2O Glow Night. So ty Disney's Typhoon Lagoon. H2O Glow After Hours. Yes, uh, you keep calling it H2O Glow, Glow Nights because Night? that's what it used, used to, be to be called. Now it's H2O Glow After Hours. H2O Glow. We'll just call it H2O Glow and, and then we're good. Disney in names, but... They have an exclusive dish that you get from Leaning Palms. It is a watermelon poke dish. Now, they also offer a tuna version of that same dish, which is half the size. And in my mind, after trying it, probably like two-thirds the flavor. The watermelon was definitely the way to go. That which is weird me. coming from you. I absolutely hate watermelon. Uh, but they were both ponzu marinated. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's what did it for me, was the marination. That with the seaweed and everything else. That I wish I could have that every day for lunch. I would eat that. I don't. Know, I don't even like seaweed, and to me, it didn't taste like the seaweed was seaweed because it was just marinated so well. So in that sense, I do think it was a very well executed watermelon poke bowl. I'm daydreaming of it even now. So does that mean we get to go back to H2O Glow? <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe I just make my own. But worst on trade. Well, you gave that a five. I did give that a five. That. And we also need to cheers because you're in a hurry today for some reason. Ah, cheers. cheers to the best entree. Now the worst entree. Worst entree of the month. Gall. So for me, the worst entree um, was part experience and part flavors fighting with one another. It was also from H2O Glow, the Electric Impossible Burger. It was actually the option that I was looking forward to the most. Um, the Impossible Patty was a little smaller than the normal ones that we usually get. The Neon Bun was really cool, but it was like too, it was like really, it was too much bread for the small patty that you got. And then they refused to modify it so they refused to take off the chutney even though they make it to order so it's not pre-made or pre-packaged and we were able to get no mango on an option earlier in the day so um the the slaw and the chutney were fighting each other on that sandwich or the burger and then just the too much bread i don't i didn't even finish it i think i I tried to like pick off all of the toppings and just eat the patty or like eat the patty in one part of the bun because the top was too much. And I still, it just, it just, it just wasn't for me. If you're going to H2O Glow, definitely get that poke bowl or maybe two because the poke bowl is definitely not going to fill you up for the night either. And I have no I opinion it on it two. because I couldn't try it. Thanks, right. Because I wouldn't take off the... Yeah. Yeah, which was funny because like they called a couple of people over and I said, I'm not allergic to mango. He is. Can you either take it off or put it to the side so that he can try it? And they said no. But like they also I asked if they could at the minimum bring the the burger out on a separate tray so it, it I can carry it. And he doesn't have to and all that. And they were more than willing to do that. They also told me when they gave me the tray that they changed gloves before they made his food. So I, I'm just, I'm just shooketh. Friends shooketh. Just some kind of way about that. <laughs> so my worst on tray of the month was actually from one of our non-Disney events. Uh, our trip to the movies pop-up bar yes. at Icon Park. Uh, I had the. Uh, Let's just call it the chicken sandwich. The chicken sandwich. You can't really say what it's called. YouTube will uh, it, it actually. Might... You can say it. I can bear you out. Okay. Well, the, the <laughs> chicken sandwich. Uh, I didn't hate it, but it, of all the things that we tried, it was one of the lowest rated items for me of the month. Surprisingly enough, I didn't. I didn't go in hard on a lot of dishes this month. Maybe I should have gone hard on a couple of others given the experiences that we had, but I'm trying to rate the food as it is. So I give it a three. Uh, it was the my uh, my meat option for that, and I did not like it all that much. I thought that it was soggy, maybe been sitting all day. 
And we went to like one of the last time slots available. Could have been it, but I expected a great presentation from a pop up, and it just wasn't. It wasn't there for me. So, cheers, cheers to, to the to worst, worst entree. Entree of the month. <laughs> I don't know. We do the tap. Maybe it's a millennial thing. But the I, cheers? Don't I, you want a cheers? I mean, cheers, cheers to you guys. Cheers. But I'm saying I don't. I don't to know. The screen. Oh, the tap. I don't know. I thought you do the tap for chats. 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 I feel like it's a millennial really thing, 100%. So, best drink of the best month. Best drink. Lots of competition this month. We did. We had. I had, um, personally, I think I had like eight or ten fives. I had so many. Actually, I don't think I had that many. I think I'm exaggerating. I'm. It was a lot. It was a large number. Um, and I just had to pick the one that was the most unique, I want to say. It's not really unique. I just appreciate the fact that La Cava was able to make me a drink that isn't on the menu. They, it was, it's always fun. The first time I ordered the Mezcal Margarita, they were just like, uh, well, we have all these other Mezcal drinks, and they go off. It's like pineapple or coconut or something that I, I was just not, or super spicy, which I'm not in the mood for all the time. But, you know, ask for a lime marg with mezcal and I'll rate it a five. Well, uh, I'm, I'm cool with that. Look, everything in La Cava is good anyway, so. Five for mezcal marg. Yep. It was okay. I don't know if I give it, I give it a five. But of course, you, you didn't give it a five. Her new addiction is mezcal, mezcal, all the things. I blame Disney. Yeah, that is why I love going to Disney, to try new things. My favorite drink of the month was the Yeti Sunset, which I called... Animal Kingdom's version of Epcot's American Adventure Tennessee Lemonade, which is a lot out of my mouth now that I'm thinking about it, but uh, it was a limited time drink that we actually did on the end of Earth Week. Uh, we actually forgot to post that video, we recorded it, and then completely forgot about it, which, you know, we do And it. then a week later, we were like, oh yeah, we, we should post that. We're posting seven videos a week now, including shorts, and we forget some things, even us. So I hope you guys like that video, but yes, uh, it was just Jack Daniels with lemonade and then strawberry and lychee syrup, which yeah. made all the difference to me. And I was in love with that drink. I wish I had that drink every time, but glass it's gone. You probably could if they have the ingredients yeah. on the menu. I'm sure they would do it. Third River is my tub bar. I'm sure if the you... Thirsty, thirsty, thirsty River, River bar. Yeah, I'm sure if you ask them if they have the ingredients, because I think they have another drink that they serve Give me the leech. with some of those in it. With the whiskey. And the strawberry. It was like smoked turkey topping for me. Well, you did say that. I did. I did. I don't. I, I meant that. Cheers to the smoked turkey level drinks. Yes. See, I just did it too. Worst drinks of the month. So my worst drinks of the month were actually both from Pizza Rizzo. I just picked the two. Or the worst of the two. The, the, the Rizzo disrespect coming from this side of the couch. Mm, I just... Disrespect. I love the, the atmosphere, though I miss, you know, Pizza Port. It was still, it was still, whatever, it's fun. It's a fun place to go, especially when we were in a big group. So, uh, yeah, Bear got this frozen Italian margarita. That's for margarita? That basically <laughs> tasted like... I don't know, Frozen like a cello? Magic Kingdom <laughs> sugary slush. It was horrible. It was horrible. So oh, I gave it a two. It was just as bad as that box of wine I drank there. Yeah, yeah. Rizzo disrespect. Sorry. I love Rizzo. Nothing against Rizzo. Just his pizza. Now my uh, worst drink of the month was actually from Wolfgang Puck. Surprisingly enough, we have always said that while we're not... He always humongous fans of the food of Wolfgang Puck. The drinks are usually the strong Yeah, suit. the drinks are usually good. Uh, but I had a barrel-aged Negroni. Now, a lot of that is probably the fact that I have yet to try Negroni that I like. Yeah, Negroni's a uh, very quiet taste. The last one I tried was at La Cava, La Cava. and I hated that one, too. Uh, so maybe it's time for me to stop ordering Negronis, or maybe some of you who are more experienced with Negronis and what I'm doing wrong, but I did not like that drink. I thought that it was akin to battery acid in a bourbon barrel uh it was it was not great i gave it a one it was just barely drinkable Blech. yeah cheers to the uh worst drinks or we we hardly ever knew ye didn't want to know ye. we spit ye out 
brings us to the best appetizer or side of the month. Now, I actually kind of, we had four categories in this that I put into to this. So it's actually appetizer, side, tapas, and snack. That's a lot. I just, I mean, they're all small plates. So we just, you know, Basically small, the small plating it. Yes. Small plate life. My favorite was split. I can't put a best um, appetizer on the list and not mention Le Cellier. So I got the plant-based chorizo meatballs are on my list and the impossible sliders from Nomad Lounge from our Earth Day video also because, you know, they're amazing and they're part, part uh, they're partly responsible for the launch of this channel. I mean, she could leave the cellier off, but she would probably be lying. I would be lying yeah. if I, yeah. And again, another ca best category this month, I also chose the plant-based option. Uh, Le Cellier is one of our favorite restaurants on the property. It's probably in the top three, if not at the top. It's it's up uh, there. It's definitely the best steakhouse on Disney property. The plant-based chorizo meatballs are life-changing. If you are trying plant-based food or want to try plant-based food, I recommend 100% that you do your first plant-based meal, especially in a theme park, at Le Cellier. Agreed. It will surprise you at a steakhouse how good plant-based food can be. And those trees and meatballs are amazing. So we rated all of those things, forgot to mention, they were all rated fives. Yes. So fives for the best, whoop whoop. And cheers to, to the, the best. best. Appetizer slash side slash tapas slash small plate slash snack Californian sized dinner plate. Um, oh, sick bird. Worst appetizer or side of the month. I'm throwing more shade at Rizzo. I think you're throwing more shade at yourself on this one. Uh, so my vegan option came with a baby bag of cat bagged carrots and the they carrots. were they're like you know part of the kids meal i think which is fine it's it's whatever i don't hate on the bag carrots it was just that and like you put it as your worst it sounds like it was the, the the carrots were probably about to go like it was almost time to toss that bag they were white and dry and i just i ate them uh, yeah, so. I gave him to him. <laughs> I rated him a three because healthy, woo, but... Mm. Hater. Sorry. Either way, so for the worst appetizer slash slide, slash tapas, slash small plate for me for the <laughs> slash month... Slash snack. Slash snack. Uh, was the tuna tartare from Wolfgang Puck. I wasn't feeling this dish, which is on par with a lot of dishes we've had at Wolfgang Puck. They're okay. They are technically edible. But I'm not running and telling you, my friends, you need to go to Wolfgang Puck to eat dinner. I can it's easily skip this. It's changed a lot. And be okay. It was it's reopened. It was an interesting dish. It was tuna. It was tartare. There's some eggs in there. Like, I, I love the presentation of the plate. It was absolutely beautiful. But the flavors just didn't do it for me. It was more work than it was worth to even taste it. So, I mean, like it that. got a three. It was, it was better than average, I guess. But when you have so many other good restaurants, average is not helping you. So cheers to the worst. Around. Next up, we have the best dessert of the month. Best dessert for me was the winning, the, the restaurant with the winning vegan options. Everything vegan was good. Movies. They had a vegan chocolate chip cookie. I'm going to say thank you to Kevin Smith to making sure that us vegans are always taken care of. And maybe he's pushing people to go vegan by serving them bad chicken sandwiches and making them wish they got a Beyond Burger. Just saying. No comment. Not even supposed to be here today. <laughs> so I gave that a five. For me, my favorite uh, dessert of the month was actually a surprise to me. So Salt and Straw at Disney Springs opened recently. And uh, it took us a couple weeks to get to the opening. But... Uh, ice cream is where me and the princess's goals align because she's vegan, obviously, and I'm lactose intolerant. Ice cream would debilitate me for the day. That would not be a fun video for anybody unless no. you want to hear me screaming through a bathroom it's, door for eight hours. It's really scary sounding. It's, it's not great. I, it's, yeah, it sounds like somebody's dying. Now, what was great was the plant-based options 
It's salt and straw. A roasted pineapple coconut sorbet. I was expecting it to be trash. I went in with very low expectations and I was wowed. I am ready for everything the salt and straw has to offer. It looks like they rotate limited options on and off their menu mm -hmm. a lot. I am mm -hmm. ready for whatever comes next because that was absolutely delicious. It reminds me of life on the islands. Like toasted mm -hmm. coconut and pineapple and a sorbet. It wouldn't even taste like sorbet. It tastes like ice cream. I was good. And the coconut wasn't overpowering. Everything went well. I even gave it a four and a half because mm -hmm. I liked it even though coconut and pineapple are not my jam. It was good. It was definitely my jam. Spreadable, even. <laughs> spreadable jam. It's his spreadable jam. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. This is still a family channel. <laughs> so cheers to the best. Cheers to pineapple coconut. Boo. Worst dessert. I threw shade at my worst dessert because I would just didn't want to be there. And I wanted a better option than pineapples. But we went to Magic Kingdom. We did a snack video. Mm -hmm. I got a pineapple Dole Whip. It is the classic. It wasn't whipped properly to my liking. So I don't know. If I want to get a Dole Whip, I prefer to go to Polynesian. Pineapple Lanai. Yeah, pineapple Lanai. Just number one, it's not as busy as the, the one at Magic Kingdom. A bit nuts. And... They have more flavors, usually. They and they have liquor. Also true. So, I can Give understand. Give it two and a half for a Dole Whip at Magic Kingdom. So, but two and a half isn't terrible. It yeah, works. I, yeah, I, I wasn't, there's something bad about Pineapple Dole Whip. I just think that there's other flavors that are better. Okay. Like well, raspberry. For my uh, worst dessert of the month, it came from movies, actually, and it was the uh, chocolate brownie. Which was not vegan, so no. again, the vegan options were the winning things at movies. It was it was just a brownie. Like it was nothing to write home about. It was like a I'll put it on a like gas station level brownie, which I, mean, I suppose is on par for movies, but it just it didn't wow me. I could have easily skipped it and not missed anything. So it got a, it got a two and a half for me. It was edible, but yeah, forgettable. Hey, usually this part of the video we do festivals, but we we went to Flower and Garden, but we didn't really do much. No, it was, it was so, like a retread. We didn't have any new festivals this month. We do have a new festival, actually. It's the summer for June. festival. For June, yes. Didn't it start last month? I'm not really sure. Universal hasn't really been like. I feel like the signs were up in May, but yeah. like the festival's kicking off. I think I think it's already kicked off. I yes. think it, it kicked, off kicked off in May. I'm pretty sure it kicked off in May, but. They just, they don't advertise the summer one. So we might get to it. We might not. Not sure when. Uh, there's rumors that it's going to be around But we do have more Universal August. content coming, though. We are going to try and do Universal more. We definitely did not show Universal love this month. No. Very busy month. But we did have updates on our necessities list. So, I guess, since the list was for me first. For the... Bare Necessities. Try to sing this song. I don't, I don't love Jungle Book that much, honestly. I do. So, first up on my list, plant-based trees of meatball from Le Cellier. Uh, I, I don't have enough nice things to say. I can't have too many nice things to say about that meatball. This video will be on forever. Uh, the Pineapple Dole Whip from Magic Kingdom, because I love Pineapple Dole Whip. Get that Dole Whip. Dole Whip. I'm okay with it being whipped with whip. Dole, but not Pineapple. That roasted pineapple coconut sorbet from Salt and Straw. It's your bay now, isn't it's it? It's my bay now. And you it's love mint and chip, and like you went yeah. hard on that pineapple it's coconut. My favorite. And then the uh, the smoked turkey from Bellevue Lounge. We went and did a boardwalk hangout video after uh, being gifted a super fabulous hotel room by channel fans and friends uh, Melissa, Melissa and Enda, Enda. Uh, which we appreciate so why not get our favorite drink while we were there so I got a, a smoked turkey and uh you rated a five so I did. plus it was tall it was super tall well so much bigger than when I get it like in the lounge they gave me a to-go cup and it was massive I want them all to come like that's that like now. the one thing I really enjoy about getting drinks to go at Disney it seems because there isn't like a either they're going to fill it halfway or, you're filming or they're filling it up for you, which is nice. Uh, so, yes. Anytime I get a smoked turkey, 
I'm getting it. Uh, then uh, the H2O Glow After Hours Watermelon Poke Bowl from Leaning Palms. These names, a long name. people. Okay, it's a lot. Uh, I am not the most articulate bear. Now I am working on that, but give me a break. Uh, I love that Poke Bowl. If I could have the Poke Bowl now, it might. This might turn like an AMSR, AMSR video. ASMR. ASMR. ASMR video, yeah. Or we could just make you a whole thing and you could just mukbang it. I could. No mukbangs. We've done mukbangs. We have done a sushi coat mukbang. We sushi mukbangs. But yeah. And then uh, the grilled orange chicken skewers also from H2O Glow After Hours because I love Chinese food, the Asian food. It's probably not a secret as much as you guys see me gush over it. But I don't like fried chicken that much. So getting... Asian grilled style chicken is like a dream for me. And I was absolutely in love with the chicken skewers. And then again, locked behind a limited party at a park that we don't often go to. So. I do appreciate your guys' comments and trying to convince Bear to get a park pass for a water park pass. <laughs> it hasn't luck. worked so nope. far. So I'm looking at you, Jen. Don't stop you're, trying, you're making though. some great points. Don't stop trying, though. But please, yeah, he's. Just keep liking that video and let's let's get let's get this water park on. Help her out. Because I'm I'm a stonewall. And for the princesses list. So my list, uh at the top of my list, uh I, I mean they're not really in any particular order, honestly. Um the only option I didn't give a five that's on my princesses list is the uh plant-based poutine from Le Cellier. I gave it a four and a half, probably because we we did a walk up to La Cellier. We didn't get Chef Tony. We missed him by like a couple of minutes. So he didn't prepare it. It wasn't as good as I think it would have been if he had prepared it, but um, it was still amazing. Uh, so, and, and it's never on the menu. So if you are thinking, if you're vegan, you're thinking about going to La Cellier, thinking about going to the steakhouse, do it and ask for the poutine. It will be available for you, even if you don't see it. Um, and then, uh, when you go to La Cava and you get a table there, instead of just doing the to-go, they have one food option. It's chips. Uh, well, it's like one food option, essentially. And then, uh, and then you can do individuals of it. So yeah. it's chips and salsa and guac and queso all together. Or you can just do a trio like, as chips. Well, yeah. and we got the trio. Um, and I obviously didn't have the queso, but I had the salsa and the guac. Loved that. So... Definitely, yes, if you can do a uh, table at La Cava, get that chips and guac. Though you can get it at any of the places at the Mexico Pavilion. The pineapple barbecue jackfruit from Ohana is one of my favorite jackfruits that they serve on Disney property. He didn't like it so much, but that's definitely a necessity for me. Also, Ohana's noodles. We always go get those nudes. We have a um, recipe video on our channel because we love those nudes so much we make them at home. Um, the back scratcher from Ohana, which is also available at Tambu, like the nudes, or pretty much anywhere. I think you can get a back scratcher at Kona as well. Probably. Um, but yeah, that's on my list. That's a drink. Comes with a back scratcher. And then finally, our one piece of universal love, the vegan pizza tots from Green Eggs and Ham. Cafe, we it, finally made it. It tasted like a Totino's pizza or like pizza rolls or whatever. Basically, yeah. Which is great, you know, if you're wanting that comfort food. Um, and I felt like is definitely a necessity item. I feel if like you're at Islands of Adventure, yeah. most vegan foods at Islands of Adventure is seems to be going up either like a four or higher for me or a necessity it's item. Pretty good. They're really turning out some amazing new vegan options at Isn't Universal. It? Take note. Universal's dragging you through the mud on plant based options right now. It's true. Well, but that has been our month. So cheers, cheers to May. To that. Uh, our decent recap video, a lot of different choices. We have a lot more coming up for you in June. Uh, we are still going to California this yes, month. Yes, we are going you, to California in June. We'll get some videos this month. It'll probably be, we'll be all split between June and July. Yep. We'll see. So we're we're we'll planning see. on doing a lot of content in California. We're going to be extremely busy. We're going to try to squeeze as much as we can into a very, very small window. Because we're only going to have like three and a half. 
four days technically at Disneyland. It's actually about three. It's, it's about really three about in the parks, three. but we'll be around the area for about five-ish days. Uh, so we're going to try to squeeze as much as we can in that way. Um, if your California friends are out there, you see us. Come say we, hi. We don't have a lot of friends in, in Disneyland, so you mean you come say hi. Most of my old California high school friends that used to be pass holders gave their passes up because of either the magic key penalty system, the cost, yep. or the fact that they just can't get a reservation. So we literally don't have, outside of like cast member friends, we don't have anybody. And then what we have, we have, we have Hoop to Do Review opening next month. Yep, Hoop D is opening June? in yeah. June. Yeah. We're super excited about that. We will be at Hoop D. So and I can't wait to, see, to see what else is opening up at Disney and Universal. Of course, as always, if there's anything you'd like to see us do, anywhere you'd like to see us go, be it Disney, Universal, or otherwise, comments are going to be place to let us know. Hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. And like this video. And if you don't comment, well, I think we just talked about all of the repercussions of not commenting. There's really no repercussions yeah, for not coming. We got nothing. We got, no <laughs> we got nothing. I don't, I don't even know why we, we continue to do this. But because you you're going like to go it. eat yourself in certain places. It's going to be fun. I'm going to eat myself regardless of whether or not we do this or not. But either way, we'll see you soon. Can we do a bunch of videos of you eating yourself some places? Maybe. That would be fun. Maybe.